Do you want to add the widget to the lock screen on your iPad? Well, let me show you how to do that. For this, you must have the latest iPad OS 17 on your iPad. So ready? Let's start. First of all, unlock your iPad and go to the lock screen. Next, long press on the screen so you can see the customize button on the bottom of the wallpaper. Go with customize. This screen will show you two parts, the lock screen and the home screen. We need a widget on the lock screen, so go with a lock screen. Very nice. On my iPad screen, you can see a widgets panel. This left space is allocated to add widgets. This space is a limitation of the lock screen. On any other place, we can't move the widget. So now I'm tapping on Add Widgets. Here, you can see all new widget sections specific to iPadOS 17 users. The left side shows various types of widgets, and on the right side, we can view the specific widget style. It depends on what size widget you want to look on your iPad lock screen. Please like this video if you want a battery widget on the lock screen, or write a comment for the remaining widget. I'm clicking on Batteries widget on my screen, so here are three types of styles. First, you can view the status of your iPad and connected Bluetooth accessories. The second page is to keep track of the battery levels of your devices. Tap on the widget style. So we can see here a preview of how it will look on the locked iPad. After you desired the widget, tap on the X mark sign and click on the Done button to save changes. Again, tap on the wallpaper. So this is the final lock screen after added widget. You don't need to access the home screen to view any Bluetooth accessories battery level. For example, iPad itself, Apple AirPods, Apple Pencil, gaming controller, etc. Do you want to remove the widget on the lock screen iPad? Please long press on the lock screen, and here you will see unlock to edit, which means your iPad must unlock to make changes. So unlock the iPad, and go to the lock screen. Press and hold on the lock screen, now tap customize after that, choose the lock screen, now tap on the blank space to edit the widget. Suppose, your iPad widget panel is full, then tap on any widget to get the minus button on each widget. This trick is also helpful to change widget, or order and disorder widget on the lock screen. Finally, please tap on the minus button on each widget to remove it. Let's tap the X mark sign and go with the done button on the screen's top right. You can get the lock screen without any widgets in the last tap. So, friends, this is all about the lock screen widget. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.